Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. Happy holidays! We've got reveals from Marvel and new set rumors from Horizon Zero Dawn and Harry Potter. Is LEGO testing a new subscription model, and could we be finally getting sets from The Matrix? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over to Amazon, the LEGO Minecraft Illager Rage is 32% off. Next, LEGO Star Wars Mandalorian Battle Pass is 27% off. For LEGO City, the Fire Helicopter Response is 34% off, and the Police Highway Arrest is 26% off. Plus, some of the new stunt bikes are up to 20% off, including the Chicken Suit Guy over at Target. Plus, they have the recent LEGO Art Project set for 20% off. Over at Walmart, the Avengers Endgame Final Battle is 20% off. Plus, from Jurassic World, the T-Rex Dinosaur Fossil Exhibition and Carnotaurus Dinosaur Chase are 20% off. And from LEGO Ideas, the International Space Station is also 20% off. And if you want to pick anything up and support the channel, you can find these deals and more in the description below. Next up, last week we talked about the return of the Overwatch line with the Titan Mech. And it turns out, thanks to Stone Stone Wars and foreign retailer Wagner's, it looks like this is the start of a gaming theme, with the next set coming from Horizon Zero Dawn. This set will be based on the tall neck from the game, feature 1,222 pieces and retail for $80 starting in May. In the game, the tall neck is a communications class machine, and its design resembles that of a giraffe. And I think a Lego version of this would look really cool with the disc shape at the top and all of those spines and tails going down the back. And we'll likely also get one to two minifigures, likely including our protagonist Aloy. Plus, as the game is published by PlayStation studios. I wonder if we'll ever get sets based on Uncharted or properties like Ratchet and Clank. Next up over on social media, we got this photo with the caption, you pick the blue brick, playtime ends. You pick the red brick, and I show you how deep the pile of pieces goes. Which is of course a reference to the red pill, blue pill scene from the original The Matrix, which is leading many fans to wonder if we could be getting sets based off the film. Getting sets based on The Matrix would be super awesome, and LEGO does have a relationship with Warner Brothers with their Harry Potter and DC lines. And while we've never gotten physical sets, the Agent Smith character from the film was featured in the Lego Batman movie and the subsequent Lego Dimensions level pack based on that film. But it's likely that Lego was simply just jumping on the hype from the recent release of the fourth film, Matrix Resurrections. All the films do have rated R ratings, which may prevent them from ever being made into sets, but as always, we'll have to wait and see. Next up, thanks to Promo Bricks, we got the reveal of the Spider-Man Bridge Battle Polybag. While the Polybag is labeled for the new movie, it's based on the events of Spider-Man Far From Home, as the build features Spider-Man on the Tower Bridge facing off against one of Mysterio's drones, which is the same scene that the 4 Plus Spider-Man vs. Mysterio's drone attack set was based on. The minifigure is the same one from that 4 Plus set, but it looks really great with the black coloring, and he has a tower bridge sign as an accessory, which makes this version of Mysterio the only exclusive figure to the set now. The main build for the set is of course one of the drones, and I think it looks really nice with all of its artillery, including those new stud shooters. While it would have been nice if this was based on the newer film, I think this is pretty fun, and I can't wait to find out when it comes out. Next up, thanks to Promo Bricks, we've got the details for all the Harry Potter sets coming in the second half of the year, which should mean a huge year for Harry Potter as we're getting these nine sets on top of the three that you see here that were revealed for March. It's likely that some of these sets will be based off the new film Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore, which we just got a trailer for the other day. And as there were two sets around the second film's release, I imagine we'll see somewhere around that number. But the set that's got most people's attention is the $470 one. At that price point, it's likely a large direct-to-consumer set, but it's also the highest price point Harry Potter set that we've ever seen, which is leading many to think that this could be an expansion expansion on Diagon Alley. For while we got a lot of the iconic locations there, a few key ones are missing. Perhaps none more notably than Gringotts Bank, which would likely be a far larger building compared to the ones we got previously. Plus, as the original set teased an expansion for Nocturne Alley, we could get some of those shops like Borgen and Burks. But in any case, I'd be totally down for more Diagon Alley. Next up in Bricklink Designer Program news, it's very exciting that the Round 1 projects that were crowdfunded have now begun shipping out to those that pre-ordered them. And as a result, we can find finally see some beautiful high resolution images of all the new sets. If you missed out on the sets and you want to see how they're built or build one yourself, the instructions are actually now available on LEGO's building instructions app and website. And while the inventories aren't yet available on Bricklink's website, they are available in the instructions app. And in case you're wondering like me, there's no exclusive prints and only exclusive stickers. Next step over on LEGO's VIP site, you can earn 150 free points to answer a survey about a proposed subscription model for LEGO. While there's no official word on whether or not these subscription services will roll out, it's interesting to see what they're proposing. Some of the benefits could include free gifts with every purchase and free delivery, plus returning used bricks for LEGO discounts and points. Not to mention limited edition items, early access to items, and even the ability to buy past sets from the LEGO archive. One of the plans also includes alternate building instructions for your sets, a way to keep track of your collection digitally, as well as a full unified LEGO account and wallet. While the other proposal features guided lessons and master classes, play starter ideas, and a place to upload photos. These proposed plans 
plans could cost $5 a month, which makes it very interesting to see if these benefits would be worth it. Some of those benefits definitely appeal to me as a huge LEGO fan, but we'll have to see if this even gets rolled out. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, the Asterix the Gaul project was the latest at 10,000 supporters on the platform. The project is of course based on the classic comic series, and it's not the first one from LEGO Ideas to hit 10,000 supporters. The main build features a house which has tons of awesome gribbling detail on the outside with the rock and stonework. And I think the designer did a great job packing in lots of detail as well as elements to play out the story. Not to mention that there's a lot of modularity with the build and tons of characters to really bring this one to life. But with already a ton of competition in this next round, we'll have to wait and see how this one does. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news. And with Harry Potter and Horizon Zero Dawn, there's a lot of surprises in store for us next year. I'm definitely keeping my fingers crossed for even more exciting sets from this LEGO gaming theme. Plus, whether it's this set or another set in the future, we better get that Diagon Alley expansion. To those of you celebrating Christmas today, Merry Christmas, and to everyone else, a happy and healthy holiday season. Plus, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video featuring tons of reveals from Marvel, Toy Story, Overwatch, Harry Potter, City Ninjago, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.